before we get started guys if you guys want to support me make sure you guys use my ashes of creations creator code or link down below it helps me out if you use it before you do any purchases on the ashes of creation site like if you want to buy cosmetics or an alpha or a beta key if you guys want to buy that it helps your boy out but other than that let's get into this video boy i'm a legend but spell my presence don't test me i'm ready my drip like hokage see you and i we both had nothing in common i'm more like a cash i do shit a bro let's go let's go just you know be from the unknown said i gotta show that i'm winning i got cuts so not here for us i kill him we all cut thoughts had to put the work in show What's up guys, today I'm going to be showing you guys how to get to level, or get to Tormented, which is tier 4 on Diablo 4, and I'm going to show you how to get there at level 60 on Frost Necromancer. I know a lot of you guys wanted to see gameplay of how good the Frost Necromancer is. The Frost Necromancer is so good that it gets so low, the boss, the, the level 70 capstone dungeon at level 60 or 61, I was level 61 at the time, with obviously comparable gear. I, I only used the level 53 weapon, but it was a unique legendary weapon so yeah but that unique legendary weapon makes this whole class or this whole build come together and i'm going to show you guys it um i did film a clip initially about it so i'm gonna use some of the b-roll but i didn't put audio in it and i was pissed because i was filming it like right after i did this and i was kind of shaking and yeah but i'm gonna show you the gear um i'm just gonna use that video as b-roll to show off show off some of the gear and i hope you guys enjoy that um and then we're gonna show off some of the the actual video of me soloing the level 70 capstone dungeon at level 61 to show you guys that it's possible i'm not gonna cap it's not something that you're gonna do on the first try um because there's some shit in there that will one shot you but if you use your proper potions i use the potion that boosts your hp by 30 percent and you use a lot of hp gems in your gear and stuff like that and defense gems in your what's it called accessories um or your like amulet and rings you should you should be fine as long as your gear is comparable level and maxed out because you're gonna need it maxed out um but yeah let's get into this hope you guys enjoyed this by the way don't forget to like comment down below subscribe to the channel hit the notification bell check out the discord check out everything down below in the description and don't forget to make an account on ashes of creation and support your boy by using his creator code down below for ashes of creation the new mmo that's gonna be coming out sometime in the future but let's get into this let's get this shit um but yeah I'm excited um now this is the video that i initially filmed that's why you see me in the background right here um but i'm gonna show you guys the gear real quick we're gonna go through it um we use this helmet right here it says when hit by hit when you hit a crowd controlled enemy um there's up to a 38 percent chance to for that crowd control effect to spread to another affected and i use a lot of chilled and frost so it's very helpful to like maintain and contain people so they don't do too much damage to your enemies. I think that's a very good effect if you're going to be using this frost um, kit. So you got to make sure you have that. Um, I'm not going to go over the actual build because if you guys want to see the frost necromancer build that I did make, you'll go see the video that I have on the channel. Um, but we also use that. This is a very good one that I, that I love. This helps with keeping up that frost. Your maximum number of skeletal mages is increased by three because you need that because that's going to increase how many skeletal mages um, or frost is thrown out because they throw out frost bolts. Um, very, very good. Um, and also it helps because the 10.5% summoning skill damage. So that's going to be even more helpful. Um, we also use this weapon. This is the weapon that you need. You are going to need this weapon. Um, in my opinion, I love for this frost the necromancer build you're gonna need it um, The bloodless scream is extremely good. It makes it so all your darkness skills chill enemies up to 40% and Basically you get every time you use a darkness skill you get a chance to regenerate like 3% freaking of your of your essence and the moves that you use like um, What's it called blight and the other move which is like the little beam they both are darkness moves, so you basically, every time they're in your blight or you use your little death beam move on them, it has a chance of freezing them, and it's very helpful. Very, very, very helpful. Um, um, that's the way I did it. I, I, I relied on freezes because it, it helps so much. Um, let's keep going. Um, yeah, yeah, yeah. And then I put a skull on it, and I put a diamond. Keep it going. We already showed that one. All right, keep it going. Let's see. Love the screen. We showed that already. Uh, what is that? Oh, boots. We don't really care about the boots. These boots are there because um, they're the highest level boots that I had, and I was and I needed defense because I was getting one shot. So I put those boots on. So highest level boots you got, you don't really need. It doesn't matter what they really have on them as long as they have really good defense. Um, you'll be fine. Same thing with this one. Um, this one, I mean, it's a little a little better with their print. When you have seventy percent, seven, I mean, seven or more minions on the field. 
you basically they have a 17% damage reduction that's gonna be very helpful so that they don't get like four shot um so or three shot so let's keep going what else this as well this is very good it says you have a 20 percent chance to increase crowd control um duration which is very helpful especially for like freezes and stuff that helps keep stuff like frozen and you get while enemies are unstoppable you do 35 percent extra damage so it's really good for like bosses and shit so that's gonna be very helpful as well um that's why i used it um what else army of the dead this is one that you're gonna really want Army of the Dead. This is what the, your Army of the Dead. Your bread and butter. It's gonna if if you guys watch. I mean, when you guys watch this clip of me actually getting um, it done at level sixty, the Capstone Dungeon for Tier Four. What's it called Torment. You're gonna see that Army of the Dead saves my life a lot, um, killing this boss. Um, so yeah, right, let's keep. Because by the way, for one, it makes it so you're, you're basically your monsters are they attack like 100 percent faster and they their damage is reduced by 90 percent, which is a ton. But let's keep it going. Let's keep it going. <laughs> you won't see. You'll see that the damage is not the problem for me. Like I, I do a, tilt, a, a shit ton of damage. It's staying alive with this build, and that that's saying something considering I'm solo. Um, but yeah, the things I use. If you guys want to, know, I went over it. Ray skeleton. We just use skirmisher warriors. We use the decrepify. Um, and what else? We use golem, blood golem, to stay so it stays alive. Um, it's very good at maintaining its HP. And let's see, let's keep going. And I think that is everything basically. But let's get into this video of me showing you me actually fighting the boss and beating the boss. But let's get this shit. All right, I'm gonna show you guys the boss here. This boss is one of those bosses where you definitely need a lot of HP, a lot of defense, as much as you can at your level 60. Um, just try to get the best gear you can, the best and the best weapon and just go ham in there because there's a lot of chances you're going to see on this video where i'm gonna get chanced so keep in mind and this is for all the people who want to see the frost necromancer in work it works and you're going to see this guy get staggered a lot and you're going to see his hp get fucking flooded look at that look how quickly his hp is going down he's level 70 boss and we're freaking messing it up and we're not even having to get in close and that's the beauty of this that's why it's good to solo shit because you you don't need to be the best and you can kind of solo shit and be be Gucci. Like I said, some of the stuff can chance you. Like we got chanced right there. We should have died, but we got lucky. And I think it was because we had the extra HP and we had the HP potion. It gives you thirty percent extra max life, which is very helpful. You see, chanced again, but we good. We we in there. We still in there like swimwear, boys. Um, and we're still doing damage. Let me move my ass out the way. We still fucking shit up. We didn't get chance there. As long as you jump out the way of those circles, you should be fine. Sometimes I was just getting fucked up. Um, we're about to we're about to knock his shield down. We just staggered him again, guys. Look at this. Stagger again. Keep doing damage. Keep putting them out. Keep putting out damage. Don't forget to keep using or what's called summoning more of your what's called ghost because that gives your what's called your actual monsters a boost in damage. If you summon like little ghosts at the end or you what's called you use the corpse. So keep doing that to keep damage up. Um, also, don't forget to keep your blight under them because that's gonna also do more damage. And the decrepify is gonna make sure they don't die quickly. And you're seeing I'm using the army of the dead, which is helping me kill out all the ads because he put out a ton of ads. Um, some of the ads are gone. Don't forget, keep summoning, keep summoning because that also heals them. It's also a good way to keep everyone healed up, keep all your what's coming in healed up. We're good. Okay, run, nigga, run again, run again, run again, run. Okay, you see, we got we we got chanced chance there but it's all good we, we we're good we're soloing we're soloing it's it, it's it's what happens we're soloing though <laughs> keep going okay we're attacking we chance we what's called we stun them again he's now what's called what's called staggered he's now he has two h less than two hp bars left we're good we're doing good right at this point i'm shaking in my boots like this i'm like am i really about to fucking solo this shit oh shit oh shit run oh i almost got i got chanced he hit me twice and i didn't die oh my god chance but like i said pasta brew pasta brew and look at this look at all of my all my people are still alive they're still vibing they're still doing damage and me at this point i'm just i'm just trying to stay alive Ooh, that was smart that was smart that was you saw that i double backed Ooh, i i somehow dodged all those freaking explosions that was freaking beautiful and now we used army of the dead and i'm like he's dead at this point he's dead because we used army of the dead and army of the dead's about to whittle him down quickly and oh shit we're like stay alive at this point just stay alive don't die okay at least the hatred hatred remnant he's almost dead we have him 
run. He and those are all of his mechanics. Oop, okay, he's now using this little pentagram thing. Okay, he summoned a ton of shit. We need to kill him now. Okay, we killed him. And that's what I'm saying. It's like a DPS check because the longer you go on in, in the in the actual fight, the more shit he starts to put out and the less shit, the less time you have to actually take out everything. But we have enough DPS to do it. And as you guys see, hold up, let's go back real quick. I'm gonna show you guys what our deeps is. Um, so you guys can aim for that much damage with this build at least. I'd say right there. You see, we have 2700 attack power. I would definitely aim for around 2700. Now I would definitely aim for around 4500 armor if you're doing this as a Frost Necromancer and also 2.4k health or life. Um, that's probably where you should aim for, not including you using the potion. Um, you gotta make sure you're using the level 30, the, the, what's called the 30% maximum HP potion. But I hope this was helpful. I hope this was helpful because as you guys saw, we beat it. Um, for a little bit, we just kind of sit there in awe that we actually sell that shit because like I said I don't have too many friends that are playing this game early because like I said the game doesn't come out yet Or it wasn't out. I did this on the 4th of freaking June So I didn't have any friends or anyone who I needed I could have done this way easier with one extra person But hey, if you if you if you, if you can't find the one to help you do your dreams do your shit on your own But like I said, let's let's see let's showcase us actually unlocking it. as you saw there was a lock there we unlocked it. We have torment. It. We have torment, so we can now get ancestral and unique items and more XP, which is gonna help us get to level 100 even easier. Now we're just sitting there in awe, saying, "Oh my god, we just unlocked this shit in two days or three days." Oh my god, what the fuck? I can't believe we did this shit. I can't believe we did this shit. Wow, torment select. Select that shit. Okay, now accept. Boom, tier four. We're world tier four now, boys. We in this bitch. We in this bitch. We in this bitch. Woo! -hoo. And yeah, that's that's the beauty of it. And at this point, you guys are probably like, yo, Falco, how are you getting items? Look at these dungeons. They're level like 73. Like, the thing is, I feel like, personally, that's for another video. I probably should show that, showcase it. But I'll just say, don't go into dungeons because they're going to whoop your ass. Just kill shit out in the overworld and try to go around, try to be around people. Level, like, do shit around others. But yeah. Fucking crazy guys. Fucking crazy. Um, if you guys like this video and you guys found it helpful, please be sure to like, comment down below, subscribe, check out the Discord, check out the streams, check out everything down below in the description. But I love you guys so much. Thank you for being here. And I will see you. Oh, but don't forget to like, comment down below, and subscribe to the channel. Um, but I will see you guys in the next video. Your boy Falcons out this bitch. Peace. Someone like you and all you know and how you speak. So